Odie. What do you think, buddy? Scrappy's mobile sandblasting operation ready to deploy with all of the stuff we can think of. So our first mission is to take off the Lorraine signs. I'm not doing a ton of prep for this big blast and paint. Puff, what do you think? It's gonna be a lot of work. It is gonna be a lot of work. Fortunately, there's a man left here. I've never run it. I'm told that sometimes it quits and just shut it off and turn it back on. But it, we're not gonna do a ton of prep. This isn't gonna be the world's best paint job by any means, but the cab is getting pretty bad in places. So more than anything, I'm trying to preserve it from getting worse. So I'm just chiseling the rivets off of the Lorraine signs on the boom to pull them off. Not sure if I'm gonna maybe try to paint them up and fix them up because they look pretty cool as they are, but the, it's also, it's missing. It's missing a big Lorraine plate that would be on the back of the counterweight. So I'm thinking I can, I can make something there. If nothing else, make a decal. It's supposed to say like through Shovel Company, Lorraine, Ohio, I think, something like that. Also, you can see the remnants of the Brian since 1883, which is where it worked its whole life. So I'm gonna remake those in decals. Stick them on there, because I think that's really cool. Basically to have its heritage. Always worked around the Pittsburgh area. That Bay City over there also was owned by Brian. So these machines pretty much have worked together their entire life on different jobs. So we're gonna get her prepped and we're gonna get blasting. Providing the air for today's mission, we have the mighty old Ingersoll Rand. I believe it's about a four mall M engine in there. Old gasser. An extra 15 gallons and about 10 gallons in her little tank running rpg or whatever the brand is rpb rpb supplied air blast hood just got that freaking love it used it a little bit yesterday only about ten thousand times better than having to uh wear some sort of a dust mask under an old sandblast hood and uh, it's basically not even a comparison this little blue reductor makes the air cold that you're breathing and the hot air blows out this eductor and you adjust your airflow with that. I'm not sure what sort of witchcraft is happening inside that thing. Running Black Beauty fine abrasive. I have almost a full 3,000 pound pallet. I'm thinking that ought to be plenty. I'm gonna start by focusing on the outside of the house, the car body and the boom, and then work my way inside Basically, I'm trying to protect things from the weather more than anything, so I'm just going to focus our time out there because time is limited. Sort of a one-day blast and prime, see what if we can accomplish everything I wanted to, and I doubt we're going to get to doing any painting today, but we can get to that at any time. At least we'll get through blast and prime of the day, whatever we can do. Well, Puff, how do we look? Decent primer. Running out of daylight. I would have liked to have done a little better job blasting, but all in all, the outside of the tin is blasted. The outside the track frames are very rapidly blasted. Pretty much did the operator's area, and that's it for the inside. And then I did the boom, kind of pretty hard to do actually there's all these different cross braces and all this stuff inside but all in all it's uh, it's looking better than it was 
and uh, we only have so much time to spend on this project, unfortunately. So I have the old paint pot over there. And 10 gallons of cat primer. And I'm not gonna need anywhere near that, hopefully. But anyway, we'll start with a couple gallons and start giving it to her. Well, it's kind of hard to see it, but we're as done as we're going to be with blasting and priming. Quarter to eight. It's starting to get a little, a little dark on us. We just finished loading everything up. The blaster, organize our sand and our ladder and all our paint supplies back in the truck. And we going to roll. So, thank you for watching. I'll be updating as I paint it. Probably not going to be for a little while yet. Maybe, uh... Maybe a few weeks from now, we starting to paint it, but thank you for watching. Morning! It's painting day on the Lorraine project. Cody, what do you think? So I gathered up all our, our painting supplies here. At this point, I got the supplied air filter. I'm going to take the paint pot. I think that may be helpful for the black side of things on this. There's probably be at least a couple gallons of black. Got four gallons of black paint gallon a couple gallons of cat yellow i'm going to use for the roof and then i got some uh, acrylic urethane yeah not polyurethane acrylic urethane from napa with hardener I got that in alice Chalmers orange and that's what i'm going to paint the tin i got a gallon of that so i'm not sure if that's going to be enough to do the the tin and the roof so that's why i'm going to paint the roof yellow because you won't see it and i'm cheap because that other paint wasn't cheap at all. So that's the plan. I'm going to start with painting the roof yellow. And we'll paint everything that's black. Which would be basically everything other than the tin. And and then that, that cat paint dries really fast. So hopefully by the time that's dry. By the time we're done with all that. We can go ahead and mask and paint the orange on the house. And the reason it's getting painted orange is because that's what Frank Bryan painted their machines, even though the range were typically yellow houses. This machine was orange. I never found any traces of yellow under the orange when I was blasting. They ordered that machine new, so I assume they just ordered it in orange. So it's going to be back to orange and back lettered up with all their, their naming when we're done. I'm going to get loaded up, throw this stuff in the back of the pickup, and then I'm going to throw the air compressor on the trailer because it still takes a fair bit of air for the supplied air breathing and the gun. And there's no power there, so I can't really run much of a compressor. So, get this loaded up, and we'll go... Well, the old unit's ready to roll. Got the compressor on the trailer, all our paint supplies in the bed of the truck, and we're ready to roll.
ready to paint the orange on the house. Mrs. Puff is on sanding duty. A couple guys up here playing around with their shovels, so I apologize about the about the background noise. Hopefully you can hear me. Money Detroit's always drowned out everything. That Bay City's got a nice old 4600 cat, so she's not too loud. We're just giving a quick sand on all the tin here. And then I'm gonna try to mask the catwalks with some plastic. And shoot the Alice Chalmers orange on the tin. Puff's just giving us that quality sanding job. As you can see, I mean, I finished painting this black Oh, I don't know, an hour or two ago, and it's still just a hair tacky, but it's not bad. I painted the, the catwalks at the very beginning because I knew we were going to need to walk on them. So, I'm going to get them painted, and then we'll try to mask this off with some plastic. We can shoot that tin without worrying about anything. I decided to shoot the orange last. I thought it would be easier to mask that way. I don't know. It may have been easier to, to do it first and then basically mask here to shoot the black. But it gets tricky up here around the windows. I painted all this with yellow paint. You can see the difference here, the paint and the primer. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask from here up and mask over top of the holes in the windows. All that's just cat yellow. I'm just going to leave all that go because I don't want to waste the orange paint. So I'm gonna leave all that cat yellow. I'm just gonna have the three tone paint job. This is all painted cat yellow. I basically just held a piece of cardboard there where the black meets the yellow and did the best I could. I think it worked. I'm happy with it. So we're gonna go ahead and mask all this area. That's all gonna stay yellow and then I'll mask basically coming down this side paint orange orange on those front doors all the way around the sides all the way through here and paint this orange here that's the goal anyway I'm gonna get cleaning that up and get masking well some lessons are hard learned I think I've mixed way too much reducer and I used eight parts one part hardener Eight parts paint, one part hardener, one part reducer. And I could not get this to work at all. Basically, as soon as I started painting, we had runs. And you can see the amount of coverage and the amount of runs. So, this is an expensive lesson to learn with some automotive paint. But I'm just going to try to get some Alice Chalmers orange enamel. And sand all those runs out and try again that's all you can do there's a few little miss spots here in the boom but as soon as i start moving everything i'm gonna have to paint more of the sprockets and stuff in the spring first time we're ever running so that's no big deal touch some of that stuff up i'll leave that plastic in there i don't know if it'll make it so I'm back to try again painting. Hopefully that's next weekend. It's getting there. And no big deal. We'll fix it and move on. Hi, Puff. We're back for the official round two paint job. Yesterday we sanded my 9,000 runs out of the orange and its terribleness as I showed in our last fall video. This is now spring of 22. This project is drawn out a bit. So this time I hit it with some white epoxy primer after we scuffed the orange. And I have different paint this year. I have AUE 300 from PPG. It's still a single stage polyurethane. I think it's more industrial side than the stuff I used last year. It's also a lighter orange. It's called pastel orange. I think it's more how this machine looked before. Not near as bright as the Alice Chalmers orange I attempted to put on it. Which I think it'll look more correct to what it was. But 
gonna go ahead fire up mix up some paint start painting hopefully it goes better than last time well we're just finishing up loading the truck things been a whole lot better today that paint I only used one gallon and a half of a quart out of the second gallon and I even did the roof this time where last time I couldn't even do that so I don't know all I can tell you is this paint and I get along a lot better and it's not perfect there's white spots and missed spots and I don't think I did any runs with this the runs that you see are ones we missed sanding like over on this door and the nice rust holes yet all in all a whole lot of improvement we're gonna cut decals now make a Lorraine plate for the back I'm thinking I'll I guess I'll plasma out something and then paint it and then put decals on it but we'll get that stuff done when we come for the show get it all finished up well here's our final product I'm happy with how it turned out my brother-in-law Brad did all the graphic work we cut those out on our CNC router at work all the decals I think they turned out really well.